Help, look, my plants are dying. This one's all right, this one. This one, wherever it's gone, this one is not healthy. You have to water your plants. And in the same way, you have to set things up in your IT properly so you don't get lots of problems. So this is just a really quick technique that I use all the time when we've got this <laughs> rogue devices on the network. I'll take my glasses off, I hate wearing glasses. Right, first of all, you've got this device that you want to find. Bring up a command prompt on the right window. So let's say, like I had this problem recently that I, where I couldn't print. The, the, the other classic one is someone plugs, they, they, they bring, I don't get this yet, they bring their router from home, they plug it into your network, and then they wonder why loads of stuff breaks. Thank you for that. Right, so first of all, say we've got this device. Uh, uh, it's responding to ping, so it's obviously there, but this is the printer, say. But when you try and print to it, it doesn't work. So what you can do is you do an ARP here. Uh, that lists all of the devices. So you can find the relevant MAC address. Copy this. So what you might find, if you look on another machine, you might find that the MAC address of the device is different. So basically you've got two devices on the network with the same IP address. Now there obviously are ways to mitigate this in terms of what you do with your switches, but in a small network, this is this is quite a common occurrence. Maybe you don't have a proper managed switch. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go on to the go search for MAC address lookup. I have loads of stuff to blur in this. So there's loads of these MAC address lookup vendor websites. So you put in the MAC address you only need the first six and that says that this machine is by brother so you can then go and do a floor walk and find a machine by brother or apple or whatever it is that will really help you narrow it down because now you'll know you know the make of the device probably that you're looking for that's got the, the ip address conflict now obviously if that was the, the ip address of the device that was working fine you need to find another machine that where art is showing you the address of the device that's causing the problems. The other thing that obviously once you know what the device is that's causing the problems you can then log into your routers and switches and either bl and block it or assign it a different IP address via DHCP. So, so the process just to summarize is find this rogue device's IP address then run ARP minus A that will list all the ARP addresses. Take the first uh, four uh, it's a hex, isn't it? But the force, uh, sorry, the first, take the first three sets of numbers uh, in hex, paste this onto these, these Mac vendor files. You only need this bit, you don't need the rest. And it, it will tell you the manufacturer, and then that will help you track down the device so you can get rid of it or give it a different address or whatever. This technique I use quite a lot, but I haven't seen it really documented anywhere. And obviously, what you want to be doing is trying to stop machines being able to get the same address as your devices. So when I'm setting up routers, I usually put them on, on the high ranges because most home routers are set to like one or two, don't say to one dot one. And then I put reservations for the address ranges that I want to keep away from DHCP. That way, if a device does pick up a DHCP address that conflicts with another one, it should just be a desktop PC or something. You can just restart it and pick up another address. Anyway, I hope that's of some use. Uh, I know it's a bit technical, but there you have it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Really important. I need to get more subscribers on my YouTube channel. Thanks. Bye.